Hi everybody, this is Paul with PicoPros.com and we're looking at the AXA Technologies L1 V2 laser-based Pico projector that retails for about 399 US dollars. This one has 800 by 600 resolution, which is SVGA, and has 20 ANSI lumens of output. We've done a few reviews of this projector, uh, both an unboxing as well as an in-depth review during projection. Um, Today we want to do a font comparison with different size Arial fonts on a Word document. Uh, this was uh, the result of a lot of requests by people who uh, they tend to want to know what the font readability of a laser-based Pico projector is due to the fact that laser-based projectors inherently have uh, what's called laser speckle. So we did a font comparison with a couple other laser-based Pico projectors. Uh, was the Show WX original and the Show WX Plus from Microvision. So we did a comparison between the two. Uh, we're not going to do a comparison today only because I don't have the Show WX Plus. But what I will show you is how the AXA L1 V2 looks uh, on a Word document with uh, different Arial font sizes. So what you're looking at right now is the main screen when you turn the unit on and what I'll do is scroll over and access the Word document. So I'm hooked up to a laptop and no signal. There we go. Should pick it up now. My laptop went to sleep. There we go. So it's going to take a second for the camera to focus in on this. Okay, so you can see that I have a, a range of fonts from Arial 10 to 26. And again, we're projecting from 58 inches away, producing a 50 inch diagonal image. The camera is about two and a half feet behind the projector itself. So you can see this rainbow effect, or at least I can on the LCD on my camera, that is not showing up on the projected image. Uh, must be due to the, you know, the frame rate of the camera versus whatever the projector is doing with the uh, uh, LCOS panels with the lasers so uh, please disregard that rainbow effect if it does show up on the video. Uh, the big question with the laser based Pico projectors is speckle. Yes there is speckle here. Uh, it's managed quite well uh, however they're managing it. I know they have some proprietary technology around laser speckle reduction so it looks pretty good. Um, so what I'll do is actually zoom in So there you go, we zoomed in on the Arial 10 point font and it looks really crisp, really sharp, which you would expect from a laser projector that's always in focus, so that's nice to see that. Uh, in person, it's actually a little funny, this speckle actually reduces uh, the quality a little bit, uh, perceived quality from a viewer standpoint, but it's very, very good. Now I'm just going to scroll down and show you that. So we got 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, looking real good. And 22, 24, and 26. So that looks really good. So I'm going to zoom out and show you a few of them. So there you go. Looks pretty good. So that's really all I wanted to show everybody. To give you an idea, you could definitely use this to project your desktop or your laptop onto the wall to get a really large 50 inch monitor, if you will. Uh, it's uh, you, you know, very nice uh, way to, to extend your desktop so you might have your main laptop display or whatever and project your email or some video that you're watching on the wall using the AXA L1 V2. So it's pretty nice, uh, and for $399, not a bad way to get a 50 inch monitor, especially one that's focus free. So I'm going to leave it there. It looks pretty good. Uh, again, we'll try to post the other laser based Pico projector videos with the font comparison in this same article so we could get an idea by looking at all of them. Uh, generally, they all look pretty darn good. 
Uh, I know the original Show WX had some challenges projecting white, but the Show WX Plus really improved on that. And uh, looking at this L1V2, it's probably comparable to the Show WX Plus in terms of the whiteness. Perhaps the L1V2 has a little bluish green bias that we saw in the original video that we posted, but it looks pretty darn good. So again, this is Paul with PicoPros.com, and we look forward to hearing from uh, you guys on how you like this and uh, any questions you might have. Until next time, take care.